YouTube channel. Providing you with all access to these favorite things and much more. Head to the Grosh channel, hit subscribe and turn notifications on and see me and my bros like you've never seen before. Bro! Bros, what's up, baby? What's oh, up? nothing. You know, I've been waiting all week for this because the bros finally went against each other in our picks, me versus Dan, and Dan G got smoke, baby! So I've been talking smack all week. Bro, what do you got to say? You lost to your youngest bro there. Hey, it's through to everyone's side right now. It's good. It's good. We'll see. That's true. You wanted to make it competitive. I appreciate that. Everyone's two and two on their bulletproof picks, which is pretty sweet. But, Dan, thank you for taking Philly versus the Giants. That was an easy win. So, you're not going to live that one down anytime soon, I'll tell you that. (laughs) I'll take the team against you this week. I'll have you pick first. (laughs) All right. Oh, wow. He's going to fade you. (laughs) <laughs> I, I got a good one this week, so stay tuned. I got a new strategy that I think is going to pay off pretty well. It's proven that it already pays off, actually. We got stats to back this one. That's how good it is. Hey, I sent the stats over, so I believe in it, too. Yeah, it's going to be a good one this week. I like how Dan finally did research, though, and then he, he gets smoked. That's what I love. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Before you just say whatever. That's what I said last week. I said, I'm done doing Search because the two times I did, I lost. So I go, I'm just picking this week, and it, it worked. Yeah, so we got to tell everyone why we're a little bit late. So, oh. Well, no, 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 no. Let's, let's, in, let's introduce. Him. I think we got someone coming in on, on the bottom of the screen. We haven't introduced him yet, but he's here. He's made it. You're kidding me. Yeah, the whole yeah. reason we were late, he finally made it because he didn't know how to use his Perfect phone. Timing. All right. We got we got a good one today. Let me pull out the intro video, then we're gonna bring him in. Let's do this. No one circled down the field like Andre Reed. Need a seven yard catch on third and six? Got it. Need a five yard pass turn into a 50 yard touchdown? Got it. You might need three second half touchdowns in a playoff game down 35 to three to help out the greatest comeback of all time. Got it. He was your man. As a Bill, 941 catches, over 13,000 yards, 87 touchdowns, 221 games, all team records, all. When they retired, the combination of Jim Kelly and Andre Reid was the NFL standard for most receptions, quarterback, receiver. Ladies and gentlemen, Presenting Andre Reid for enshrinement into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Thank you, Buffalo. I love you. Oh, what an intro video. Andre, what's up? Oh, he's on mute. Oh, we can't hear you now. He's on mute. You're on mute. <laughs> now we can't hear you. Andre, you're on mute. No, I just we just can't hear him even when he's not on mute. Oh man. Oh, More technical man. difficulties. Oh boy. <laughs> can't hear him. <laughs> Hey, what an intro video, and we can't even hear how pumped up he is right now to tell us about it. So the thing I saw missing, I'll let you guys talk about this until he tries to figure out his. All right, can you can you call him back on the phone so we can at least. Oh, yeah, just call him. Let's just call him right on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, well, I, I got a question that Gordy and Chris, you guys can talk about while he tries to figure it out. Is I didn't see in that highlight video his five TDs at the Super Bowl last year in the game you guys played with him. Oh, yeah. What happened with that? You guys were talking to me all about that. Celebrity football. This boy was filthy. He came out. Flutie was just tapping it to him. I felt like they already, like, practiced all the plays before they even got out there. Oh, (laughs) sick photo, by the way. Look at that double hat. (laughs) Dude, Andre was filthy. the most touchdowns. 
No. Andrea, we still can't hear. If you want to log back out and in, it might work. If you want to try that. Now, Gord, uh, Gord came in strong. A couple TDs, and then uh, then he struggles. Let me see if I could unmute him. Let's see. Oh, it says his mic isn't connected, which I don't know how that's possible on a phone. Oh, he probably didn't press a lot, Mike, when he logged We in. need to hear from the OG of Bill's Mafia. We got to get him. We got to get him live. Yeah, I got to hear some back in the day stories, man. Like Bill's back in the day was insane. <laughs> I remember going to the games and all you do is watch all the yellow uh, shirts, just like run to one side of the stadium because there's yeah. a massive fight. And then like 10 minutes later, they all run to the other side of the stadium because there's another <laughs> massive fight. <laughs> like all you do is watch. You would just wait, you would just wait to see where they're running. And yeah. there's always action. Like there was like 20 fights a game. Like it was nonstop. Yeah, don't wear – whatever you do when you're in Buffalo, don't wear the away team's jersey. No, that's like that, – that's, that's guaranteed sure. like you're getting knocked out. At least at least back in the day. Like back in the day was insane. Dude, so you remember as kids, like we go to that urinal and like it was just one urinal for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and, pee, and everyone's pissing on the side of the walls in the snow. Yeah, see, everyone, everyone just ended up going on the wall because there's only one. Yeah, you know, on the wall outside the bathroom, and then people would just like, I mean, no shirts on, snowing out. So they go hide in the bathroom. Like you'd go chill in the bathroom to, to warm up a little bit. What was the stadium called then? Because it was it was rich. Rough. It was it, it's rich Stadium. Oh, Rich, yeah, yeah. Rich yeah. Stadium. Rich yeah. Stadium. Yeah, it's Rich, then it's Ralph Wilson, then New Era, and now uh forgot what it's called. Yeah, what is it now? I don't know. Let's Some... all stand, but let's bring him back in. Here we go. I'm back. I'm back. Should we do our bulletproof picks now while we wait for Andre to hopefully figure out his situation? <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead and go. I'm thinking that um, Andre is going to take the Bills, so we should probably just lock him in. Bills versus Pats in Buffalo Monday night. Do you think he's taking Bills? <laughs> I'm guessing. That's a weak game, though. Our guest still uh, undefeated. Yeah. Yeah, Mom. Mom took the uh, – wait. Yeah, yeah, Bucks. Mom the Bucks. Yeah, Mom took Bucks, and they covered – they covered. So that means Bills are going to cover this week. Our, every guest is one. All right, let's, let's, go right <laughs> into, let's go right into Bulletproof Picks then. Hopefully Andre is able to figure it out, come back on. We could talk about some old school stories, Buffalo style, maybe about a new stadium. Who knows? But let's get into Bulletproof Pick action. Here we go. Here we go. Everyone's two and two. It's a big week here to take the lead. I'm going to start this one off because, Chris, I think you sent me this actually 80% win rate on this strategy right here. So, if you what take, you ready? It's a little confusing. So you have to pay attention. If you take last week's games, make a column, let's call it column A of the teams that covered. Now take a column B of all the teams that didn't cover. This was last week. Now you move to this week. Any team in column B that is playing column A. If you take the column B team, it has an 80% win rate. So the this team year. that didn't cover last week playing a team that did cover last week, the team this the team that didn't cover last week will cover this week 80% of the time. I got you. So, so it can't be said, I am taking the Eagles at Jets. I'm taking the Eagles minus seven because the Eagles did not cover last week against the Giants. I had to write this all down. It's a little confusing here. <laughs> Eagles did not cover last week minus three and a half at the Giants. They lost 13 to seven. And the Jets did cover last week at the Texans plus two and a half. They won 21 14. So, new strategy there, 80% win rate on the season if you do this. So, we are locking that one in, Philly, minus seven at the Jets. Is that the only game that, that actually pairs up like that this week? That's the first one I saw, so no, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one I'm taking. I can only pick one, so I found one and I took it. Yeah, that's a lot of research they have to do for that. It is. So I like that. So, Dan, are you going opposite then? I I want to, but um, I mean I don't know about the Jets. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'm not gonna go opposite. I'll, I'll go with the Colts this week. Um, they're playing the Texans, right? 
and uh, they're rolling pretty good. It's uh, eight and a half points, but I think they'll cover that. The Colts are a good team. They're gonna they're gonna put up some good points, and the Texans really can't score very good. So I'm going with them. Are you going against Glenn's old quarterback then, Tyrod Taylor? Oh yeah, exactly. Wow, that's right. Hundred percent. Wow, Glenn, how do you feel about that? Not happy with that. I like Tyrod. You no, know, you know what I can believe actually. I saw Colt McCoy was still playing. I played with him on the Browns. I had no idea he was. I had no idea he was in the league still. I was like, oh my gosh. That's yeah, amazing. he just started too, right? For someone. Yeah, yeah he started. Oh, that too. guy. I mean, that guy's uh, Mr. Cardinals. Football. That guy loves the game. So that guy is making bank, and no one even knew he was still playing. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, it might be the best job ever—a third-string quarterback that just he played did, yeah. for 16 years. It's unbelievable. And he wins. Like he wins every time he plays, too. Yeah. It's like he's, it's he's like so McGowan. Right? Yeah. It's like McGowan. Was that his name? The quarterback. He had commercials and everything because it was so awesome. His job. <laughs> yeah. He was Gordon, getting I, it was so great. I want to hear how Gord's feeling about Glenn's new strategy. <laughs> Uh, I actually appreciate his new strategy. Um, what if there was a t- um, what if there was a team that if they both lost versus spread and they're playing each other, then it doesn't count. You, that's not a game. To be honest, I didn't do this research. I saw it. Chris actually is the one that sent it to me. Um, someone else did all this research on it, so I am not sure if they both lost. I, I don't know how that plays out. Because based on your strategy, I really don't like my pick this week. Uh-oh. The opposite. <laughs> yeah, I kind of want to change it. <laughs> you just gotta take the opposite the opposite side. I know. It's very difficult to do. Let's hear it. I mean, I I wanted to take Washington on the road at Vegas because Washington is just steamy right now. You know, big wins versus Tampa. Um, then they had another big win last week. I don't know. I, I just feel like, you know, Vegas has been struggling. But Glenn, you're telling me this crazy strategy now. So now it worries me, but uh, I'm going to stick with Washington. Um, I think they're going to, with, with the points, they're going to cover um, win or lose. But I'm going with Washington this week, and that's because Fast Brands sponsored me right there to eat this amazing bar. And now I'm feeling so healthy and refreshed that I would take Washington. Washington <laughs> better play fast this week. Yeah, they better, they better play, play real fast. Taylor Heineke's playing fast. I mean, he looked, uh, he looked legit in that last game, man. Like that guy can move too. Uh, I think Vegas was struggling. So well, tough game on the road. I love going back. to Vegas games because I feel like I'm in the club. Hold on, Andre's <laughs> back. Bills Mafia. Let's see, let's see. We got Andre Reed back. Can we hear Yo, him? Hey. He's yeah, back. yeah. He's good. we got it. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. 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 Oh, oh. Let me tell you, man, my golf game today was pretty good, but my internet game is pretty bad. Just want you to know. <laughs> Did you have too many adult beverages on the golf course that you can't figure out the internet? You know what? I never was good at it, but I, I don't drink anymore, man. I haven't had a drink in two years. So I oh, all right. Yeah, so I I uh I uh I stopped, man, completely, man, because you know guys. Come on, the Gronk. So you kidding me, man? We we all we do is go to parties and shake hands <laughs> and drink. So I just had enough of it, man. So uh, hey, big shout out to Jordan Foyer before we start. Jordan Foyer for coming out and telling his story, man. That was awesome. Absolutely. Congrats on your two years, by the way, as well. It's awesome. Yeah. It's good to be with you guys, man. You guys are crazy. We had a lot of fun at the Super Bowl last year in the uh, flag football game there on the sand. Yeah, so Andre, they showed your highlight video. I don't know if you saw it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I got to hear about these five touchdowns you had in the game. I wasn't well, there for it, but Gordy and Chris keep telling me about these five TDs you had. Looks like you, you could still what? play. The funny thing about that is you never lose what you already know. And <laughs> I definitely uh, – uh, it doesn't matter how old you are. You never, you never forget what you did. So I had to show out a little bit, you know. had to show out. I had to show out. And big, he did. Hey, hey, big shout out to Celsius, you guys. It's one of my sponsors, man. They do a good job. They got they got good drink. Keeps it, keeps it good to go. Celsius, man, it's good energy, and I need it for sure. <laughs> That's how you score those five TDs. Oh, is that how you did it? Yeah, I did it easily. 
<laughs> he ain't lying, man. Just trying to tell y'all, man. All right, so Andre, we all grew up in Buffalo, all watching you. I played for yeah. the Bills as well. I think it's a little different when I played the fan base. Let's hear the fan base. What was it like back then, back in the day? Because we all know how crazy they are now. Was it like that back then before all the video cameras and everything like that? You know what? They, they've they always been crazy fans in Buffalo. They love, they love their team. You know, they live for Sundays at 1 o'clock. Um, and now that the Bills Mafia has – emerged the past four or five years uh they they kind of became a part of the team and they are you know some of the best traveling uh professional teams in sports i mean i go to games here and there and the bills take over i just was in new orleans for the game thursday night they took over new orleans i was in tennessee they take over tennessee so one thing about those fans man they're going to be there you know you know they they that's what they live for, and they love their team. Uh oh, we lost him. Oh, no way. internet game. He was not hey, lost. Hey, he has the worst technology and internet game out of anyone I've ever seen because he, he caused us to be nine minutes late too. Hey, and he, sorry. I got I got to drop my bulletproof pick anyway, so. Oh, perfect. Well, I didn't, but uh, hopefully he comes back because I feel like he's about to drop a really. And we got some good stories too. Yeah, I I still got to ask him a question. I got a good question for him too. I really want to ask him. We got to get Andre Reed back on the line soon. He's coming coming back in, coming back in. But let me drop this bulletproof pick. I'm going with Miami this week at home against the Giants because we saw it happen every year. The Pats go down to Miami. They struggle in that heat, especially in December. Mm -hmm. I'm locking in Miami for my boy. Andre's back. Let's get him back in here. Yeah, but, hey guys, you're about I, to just I tell really us a crazy story. All this, man. If I was at home, it would be a little different, for sure. All good. You had to get some golf in today. I don't blame you. We good. We good. <laughs> yeah. Well, there ain't no golf getting in up in Buffalo, right? <laughs> <laughs> right now. They they're not getting not getting golf in there. Yo, Andre, tell us tell us one of the craziest things you saw a fan do back in the day. Got to be some. Did you did you look up in the stands? You know what? Did you ever look up in the stands to see all the fights when you were playing? You know what? They didn't fight. They really weren't. You know, probably my first couple years in the league there because we weren't good, and they were they were like Philly fans the first couple years because Philly fans will fight anybody, and Philly fans will fight each other. But they, uh, I mean, they did what typical fans do. I mean, if they're mad, whatever. But I hardly ever saw them beating each other up. You know what I mean? But they are, uh, again, they guys, before we went out, they are the most, they're so loyal, you know, to city and loyal to that team. I think uh, they just look forward to weekends. And I really, they weren't, they weren't crazy fans. But and before we went off, you know, the Bills Mafia now is um, – more of a household name, their fans, and they have uh, they have done a tremendous job of following their team wherever they go, and they're they're all about taking over the city, bottom line, and they and they usually do. So uh, big shout out to the Bills Mafia. I think that's all awesome. About this too. Chris, you want to pull up that video? Of what they like to do? Yeah, yeah. Let's um, we'll have Andre break this down because he played. Um, for a long time in Buffalo, so he's probably seen some of this action. Oh, we lost him. We got kicked off again, man. I think we should show the video anyways. Well, we got to have him see that one. It's a good one. Yeah. I Sounds think like uh, he – I think because he was playing, he didn't see all the fights in the stands because <laughs> there was a yeah. ton of them back in the day. <laughs> yeah, you don't realize that stuff when you're playing. Yeah. He had no idea. Let's see if we can get him back in here. See what he thinks about the new stadium. Here we go. Here we go. Back. Maybe if I go outside, guys. Really, this is ridiculous. Just show, <laughs> show some <laughs> sunshine. Let's see. Yeah, I'll show you some sunshine. I might have to go outside because there, this this thing is just playing games with me, man. Dang, he's dangerous. Pulled over Let's in the see. middle of the highway. <laughs> 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 yeah, exactly. <laughs> Should we do the pro breakdown right, while we got outside? I don't think it's gonna I come might through. Be good on outside, bro. Tell you the truth. 
I might be good. I might be better outside. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I really apologize for that. <laughs> there we go. Right, here we go. Got some shades now. All right, can you guys see me now? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Andre. Andre Reed. There he is. There we go. Awesome back. <laughs> All right, yeah, I got to make sure. Can you guys see me? You can. I hope you can hear me, too. All right, we got you right now. Okay, go ahead, man. Let's go. Let's go before I cut out again. Hurry up, Chris. Ask him that question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're – oh, man, he's uh, gone. All right, we just got to go. It's not working. So, yeah, Chris, we'll uh, let's do this pro breakdown. All right, all right. We're going to do a pro breakdown. Wish Andre was here for it, but it's too good not to show it. So let's show this. Here we go. Here it is. Go, go, go. Yeah, they literally yeah. almost started on fire, that person. No, they did start on fire. That again. Go ahead, guys. Did you see that video? Yes. You saw it? <laughs> oh, we'll, play it. we'll play it one more time. We, we need you to break yeah, play, this down. Yeah, play it one more time. Oh, okay. Go, go! Ah, there we go! Was that happening in Buffalo uh, back in the day? I, I don't – no, that, that was not happening. No, they weren't, they weren't <laughs> jumping on tables. They might have been jumping on, on tables a little bit here and there, but they definitely weren't setting them on fire. Oh, uh, man, it's uh, – <laughs> that's crazy, man. And, they, and the funny thing about it, they, they take their mom, they throw their mom on a table. They, oh, wait, they, what? They, <laughs> kids, they throw them on a the table. Yeah, we, they, we were just talking about – They're going to throw you on a table. Yeah, I think I saw one where they baptize their kid by throwing them through a table is what they do now up there. So that's how you get baptized in Buffalo. Oh, they the one do. guy that is, off. That is number, you know, number, number one is dangerous, and I I don't think they do it in the parking lot. They have they probably do that somewhere else because I don't think the team lets them do that kind of stuff. But it's uh, Yeah, they moved them out of there. Yeah, that's crazy, yeah. man. I'm not starting nothing. I'm not starting nothing on fire and jumping on it. That's for sure. <laughs> Andre, let's get your thoughts, man. New stadium. You played back in the day, Rich Stadium. Uh, they're now talking uh, about brand new stadium. How, yeah. how do you feel about this? Uh, you know, I'm always – I was always a Rich Stadium guy. I mean, when I first got it was Rich Stadium. Before that, it was the old rock pile. Uh, downtown there, uh, and where they where they had uh, they filmed the natural there. Um, somebody asked me the other day, he's like, "Did you play with OJ?" I was like, "What? Are you, are you serious? <laughs> no, OJ's a lot older than me." But I, uh, I I really I don't know, man. I don't. I'm kind of like right in the middle with a new stadium, and that's that's the way that the these new the teams that are going to get a new stadium or whatever. Somebody got to try to outdo SoFi. You guys been to SoFi yet down there? In LA, up in LA, Super Bowl. No, Super Bowl. We'll Super Bowl. Yeah. I mean, yeah. SoFi, SoFi Stadium is ridiculous. So the next, the next team that gets another. Hey, Gord. This is difficult. <laughs> Dude, I really wanted to ask Andre a question too about his feelings when the Bills skipped on drafting Rob. You know, I really wanted to hear what he would have to say as a player. You know, when your home team skips on you twice. I wish we had him on for that, but I think we should just roll it out him because he's been having technical difficulties this whole time. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's rough. I'm sure. Apologize to all the listeners right now. I know it's it's hard for us to, to, to get it going. So let's uh he's coming back in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Andre don't give up. That's why he's in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> this is absolutely insane. I will say he was late though, so we gotta find him twenty four thousand, just like the NFL would do on you if you were late. <laughs> the twenty four thousand dollar fine coming to you, Andre. No man, don't find me, bro. This ain't my fault, man. <laughs> it doesn't matter if your car breaks down on the way to practice. You're late. It doesn't yeah. matter what your excuse is. If you're late. You're, that, that that fight's coming from your team. Hey, I wasn't. Hey, I wasn't late for my tea. Hey, I wasn't late for my tea time today. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's all that matters. You got it. You got it. Hey, Andre. You you ask your oh, go ahead, Chris. Andre, I wanted to ask hey. you a question real quick. Um. Being a player, our brother Rob was um, passed on by the Bills twice in the first round and then the very yeah. the pick right before the pass. As a player, we're, you know, a lot of people call him a traitor. He wanted to go to his hometown. They passed up on him. You know, what are your thoughts on that? Just, you know, with the Bills passing hey, on him hey, and man. your feelings as a player. It, it, it happens in sports. It happens in all sports. Guys will love, they'll love to play for their hometown team if they have a chance to. And if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Obviously, you know, Gronk to me is the best tight end to ever play the game. And obviously he would have been a, a nice fit in Buffalo, especially he's from, but you guys are from Buffalo. And uh, it would have been a little crazier. You guys would have been jumping on tables too. That's <laughs> but, you know, um, you know, but hi, you know what? Hindsight's twenty twenty, man. You know, you never know. And, and he ended up playing with the greatest quarterback of all time. And maybe the last 15, 20 years, the greatest organization of all time. So seven Super Bowls. I mean, you guys know the numbers. So I think he I think I think he's doing pretty good. I think he made it, you know, they made the right choice, uh, the Patriots. And obviously he would have loved to play for his hometown team, but it didn't happen. And he still I, I know I've talked to Gronk a few times and I, I know his heart has always been in Buffalo. It'll always be in Buffalo. But um that's just that's just how the cookie crumbles, man. That's just how it is. But um I'm sure he's not, you know, tripping about it. He's not going crazy about it. But anytime he comes to Buffalo, he feels that sense of home uh when he plays here. So, you know, that's uh that, that's I think that's the way he feels. Why is course yeah, he definitely lights it off when he's here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. His best stats are definitely in Buffalo. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to hear it from a Bill. <laughs> from the man himself. Yeah, man, definitely, definitely. What was it yeah, like I'm playing real. back then? Like how like you guys were unbelievable. Um yeah, like four I mean, Super Bowls. when we were watching when we were younger. Yeah. I mean, we're, was just the atmosphere, the energy, was it all there? Is you you forget that feeling now with these new this yeah. new Bills team? Is that kind of how it feels? Um, I, I think I I got a little sense of it. You know, when your team's doing well and they're playing good and they got they seem like they got all the pieces to put in place. Will that team ever be like the teams I played for? You know, that's that's uh, I mean, there's seven Hall of Famers from that team and, and a coach, yeah. an owner, and a GM. You hardly get that in any sport. So. I don't think, you know, Sean McDermott is a pretty good coach. I don't think he's saying, well, you guys got to live up to the Bills of the 90s. You just got to go out and play like the Bills of right now. And and that's, uh, you know, they got the team to do that. Um, this game is going to be a, a heck of a game. It always, back in the 90s, it was always for first place. It was always Bills, Dolphins, you know, with Marino and Kelly. Um, oh, yeah. That was a good rivalry back in the day. But, um you know, the Patriots are now the Bills rivalry, if you want to call it that. And this game Monday night is really kind of sets it sets it up for that because they're both playing well. Um, you know, Buffalo stumbled two weeks ago, but they, they, they got a good win coming into this game Monday night. Um, and the Patriots have been, been playing lights out. There's no doubt. They're the hottest team in football right now. And, you know, coming to Buffalo, you know, it's going to be a packed stadium. Monday night, so it's all set up, you know, for uh, you know a first place uh, uh, kind of um, you know scenario happening. So it, it's going to be a good game. I'm looking forward to being there. I will be there, guys. I want you to know. There you go. <laughs> Who are you taking? Come on, guys. You know, hey, I believe <laughs> blue, so 
Uh, we'll put that in there. Yeah, well, last, last time I looked. Yeah, well, I, I think it's going to be a close game. And I love what Mac Jones is doing there in New England. He has stepped up and the defense is playing well. Um, and this is the right time for the team to play well like that. So, um, the, you know, the Bills just have to you – know, turnovers. Bottom line is in a game like this, turnovers in any game are so crucial because it could make – make or break you, and it could be that swing that you um, either one way or the other for you to go. And you know, Mac Jones is still a rookie, guys. He's still a rookie quarterback. So, you know, their their defense right now is has got a scheme for him to put him in positions where he's going to make mistakes. And he hasn't done that the past five weeks. I mean, and I think they're plus 120-something and in, in, in points and, you know, turnovers, they're plus 15. They're doing great. So, it's going to be one of them rock 'em sock 'em games um, that's going to come down to a play or two that's going to be the deciding factor. I think. I like that. I think it was going to be a tight game as well. Andre, man. Yeah. I know you're struggling a little bit with the um, with the connection. We really appreciate you coming on. Is there sure. anywhere that people can yeah. find you, man? Where where you uh, where you at now, man? What you got going on? How can uh, how can people find I'm, you these I'm days? I uh, live in San Diego. I uh, live in San Diego. I'm a Boys and Girls Club kid. I was a kid for 10 years in the Boys and Girls Club, and I have become a national ambassador for the Boys and Girls Club of America. Um, right now, we are in the process of getting uh, vans involved with us with the Boys and Girls Club and giving out shoes to kids. We're going to have shoes made by the kids, and the winner is going to be the shoe for the Boys and Girls Club. So we're we're doing wow. some great things. Uh, um, I'll be in Buffalo. Actually, we're going to do a Boys and Girls Club event with a couple of the players there, Greg Russo and Andre Smith. And I get so much, so much love up there when I go up there, man, from the from the fans and from the businesses in Buffalo. They're stepping up on board. They're on board for it. Um, actually, out on the social media right now, we had a contest of uh, the winner. Um, if they, they, they go to the game, um, they have dinner with me. Um, they get VIP treatment for the Monday night game. They get a jersey. Uh, they get a football. They get they get everything. So it's it's going to be a lot of fun up there this uh, this Monday night. Send us the link so we can help push it for you once we get off. Uh, they can they can go to my Instagram at uh, Andre underscore Reed eight um, three. Everything about the contest is on my uh, on my social media link there with with Instagram, um, Twitter. Um, Facebook, it's all over there. Um, that's uh, that's where they can go and enter. I don't know if they picked. I think they got one or two more days left. Maybe it's over. But um, to enter, you just donate and you put you in a drawing to uh, get all those things I just said. That's amazing. So Andre, yeah. So Andre underscore read eight three on Instagram, and if you go on my page there. Um, there's a link to the uh, link in the bio to uh, the contest. Good awesome. stuff right there. <clears throat> Andre, appreciate having you on today, man. I hope you're hey, thank you guys. You know what? I love you guys, game. man. I love you guys. You guys are doing a great job. Um, you're using your platform to do good. Nothing like the Gronks, man. Nothing like the Gronk brothers. You guys are <laughs> a, a, a family, uh, not only from – that came from Buffalo, but your roots are there. And I'm sure anytime you're back in Buffalo, you, you try to give back to uh, the Buffalo community while you guys were there. So big shout out to the Gronk brothers and, and big shout out to Rob, man, for doing some great things too. Appreciate it. We'll see you at the Super Bowl. We've got six TDs this year. Yes. Every football yes. game. We'll see, we'll, you, we'll see you there. Definitely. <laughs> all right, Andre. All right. Appreciate Thank it. You, man. Thank, you. Thank you, man. Thank you. We'll talk Sorry to you soon. All the, uh, all, the, all the commotion. No oh, worries. Coming on. You got it. Boom. Andre Reed Hall of oh, Fame House. Yo, what I love, he says, uh, and this is probably so true. He's like, if Rob went to Buffalo, things probably would have been a little different. And I was thinking in my head, like, he probably would have been like elbow dropping people through tables and everything, too. <laughs> he would have been partying a lot harder if that's even possible than what that's he was doing. He would still be living in Buffalo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So I was thinking I think about what he was trying to say is Rob's career might not have been as good. They didn't have the support around what 
10 years ago, the team and I mean, yeah. Brady and Rob was put in a good situation. So I think it was good yeah. for everyone. All, all of our friends would have been around too. Like that. Yeah. Probably yeah been it would have been situation. way too nuts that way. So. <laughs> yeah. It was probably a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. He got just <laughs> far enough away. So. Yeah. yeah, that's all I had. I was like, man. I mean, Belichick <laughs> is as his coach, so uh, to calm him down a little. Imagine us though, all going to his games as Bills Mafia fan, like as like actual fans wearing his jersey at the game. That would have been insanity. <laughs> it would have been dangerous for sure. Yeah, that would have been bad. So it's probably. Uh, I probably man. weigh about two eighty right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be doing just like straight. Uh, Shotguns, muscle chugs, keg stands, all every single weekend. Yeah, I mean, you still do that every weekend. I feel like, <laughs> but I'm, I weigh two seventeen, so I don't think I do. Boys, uh, Coach oh, Coach Gronk has to bounce right now, so um, got to get into the hockey game. I'm sitting outside of, so I'll catch you guys in a little. All right, and score some goals week. for us. We're wondering why you no, have I'm Coach Gronk. Coach Gronk. Yeah, get out there and check him and score a goal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. Go out, son. Later, bro, All too. Right, Great work. Atta. Keep it going. Thanks for holding it down for the Buffalo Nation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. That was great. Man, I wish Andre had better connection because I know there's some crazy stories back in the day, but we got to get him back on. Or, yeah, uh, it's tough to get it flowing there for a little bit. I, I yeah. think we could have got a little more. You could tell he was so juiced up to be on. He just wanted to be on the whole time going crazy. Yeah, his intro was so sweet, too. And then uh, it just he just felt like he just dropped out of the call right after. <laughs> All good. All good. Well, we appreciate uh, everyone jumping on. Make sure you lock in that bulletproof pick. I'm really liking that one this week. Uh, don't yeah, take who was it against one? Let me, let me hear it so I can go get it in, too, just in case I want to. the Eagles second. minus seven. Wow, that's that's a big spread, but I like your what I like about your play or the whole strategy is that like one team doesn't cover, so then like and then one team does or has a really good game. Yeah, it's the NFL, they all go back and forth. It's you can't yeah. predict it. It's it all evens out pretty much at the end. So. But everyone always overreacts, I feel like. They like, do. Like, like like Taylor Heineke had a great game. Washington looked amazing. Gord goes all in on them next week. <laughs> he goes bulletproof on them. <laughs> so, I know. Uh, no, it's true. Right. I, I think Vegas overreacts too, where they move the lineup higher than what it would have been. So I think that's also part of it too. I think that's why the strategy is so good. I mean, when I sit there and think about it, I mean, everyone overreacts. I mean, and really at the end of the day, the talent in the NFL is so good that no one's really that much better than every other team. So anyone could win any given day. Oh, for the but most part, team. every team has good players. It's more about the strategy that week of the coaching staff. So, yeah, and then um, or, or one or two big plays that make a huge difference, a pick six or something like that instead of a touchdown. So, I liked your play last week too. Who had um, who had fourteen guys hurt last week? Was it the Jets? Forgot now. Oh, was uh, New, Orleans. New Orleans. Yeah, it was the Saints. The Saints had oh, fourteen Saints. starters out. Saints got okay. crushed. Yeah, I, I know you hit me up on that. So definitely, that's that's a great bulletproof strategy as well. Fourteen players hurt. <laughs> All right, bros. Well, shout out to everyone listening. Came on to join us for the questions. Shout out to Fast Brands as well, keeping us. Check them out. Hit the link. Check them out. I think they got, you missed the big sale last week. They still got 20% going, 20 live, fast. Check them out on Amazon, the caramel, the cookies and cream. Definitely check yeah, out the cookies and cream. What are you with today, Gord? Caramel or cookies and cream? Dude, I had the salted caramel uh, earlier in the week. It's good, but. My heart's with the cookies and cream. Yeah, Me too. I ate, like, I ate like six cookies and cream in two days, and then I had to He's already them. gone. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to end up switching it up finally after six in a row. Yeah, that's not a bad strategy either. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's pretty bulletproof. All right, bros. Good luck this week. Um, I hope you're bulletproof. I hope I'm bulletproof. Thanks for everyone joining today. We'll talk to you all next week. See you next week. Thanks, Andre Reed. Andre.